Michelle Clifford. Uh, she is uh, with Emmanuel Macron's camp a short distance uh, from where I'm in Paris, although in fact uh, we're told that Emmanuel Macron is working, uh, making his way here to the 6th arrondissement uh, for a celebration party at uh, La Rotonde uh, Café. Uh, but uh, you were there uh, earlier on with the excitement, the long wait for Macron uh, to come out, uh, and one got the sense that uh, he really does now believe he is the man to beat uh, as far as the next president of France is concerned. Yeah, very much so. I mean, he made uh, a very passionate statement, kind of understated, that's his style, but his supporters were euphoric. They're in absolutely no doubt that he will be the next president of France. They don't feel they need to wait for official confirmation. At the moment, we are still dealing with projections and exit polls, but they're absolutely certain that he's gone through, that he beat Marine Le Pen, he is going to be the next president because they'd all seen the uh, polls over the last weeks of the campaign and again tonight that suggest that if it was M Macron against Le Pen in the second round, he would beat her by around 60%. And the momentum very much is with his party en marche uh, because we saw the socialist candidate come out and throw his weight behind him. We saw the Republican candidate come out and throw his weight behind him. We saw the Prime Minister of France, we saw the Foreign Minister of France all saying, back. Ma we will back Macron. Interestingly, though, they weren't saying because we think he's a great candidate. We don't. It wasn't because they were saying we think he has great policies. It was to stop 